please please whether you're male or female please buy cotton on the wear buy cotton on the So first of all, what is an underwear? An underwear is an article of clothing or any piece of clothing that is placed under close to your skin before you wear your clothes. I feel like we all know what an underwear is, but I'm just you know describing this to lay analysis so that we know exactly what we are talking about and we know exactly what it is an underwear is, even though we already know that fact. But underwear hygiene is the um, taking care of your underwear and making sure that it is jam free anything that concerns your underwear whatsoever just making sure that it is jam free and well taken care of who should actually take care of their underwear or who should consider an underwear hygiene an underwear hygiene is unisex guys it doesn't matter if you're male or female you need to take care proper care of your underwear if not you're going to pay for it trust me guys i'm sorry but yeah you will pay for not taking care of your underwear how would you pay for not taking care of your underwear you might ask well you would pay through rashes infections uncomfortability and a lot more when you take back care of your underwear it could actually cost you a lot of health challenges and trust me guys the more health challenges you have the more finances you have to spend so just do yourself a favor and take good care of your underwear okay so underwear have different types of fabrics you have the silk fabric you have the lace you have the seamless you have thorns of fabric out there in the market the ones that are designed the ones that look like i don't even know like it's just crazy guys but the best fabric for your underwear is the cotton fabric the cotton fabric is the key fabric for any type of underwear to give you that comfortable feeling to give you durability to give you like that whole um confidence and whatever you're doing you don't have to worry about your underwear and stuff like that it just really really is the best trust me guys whether you are male or female i will always 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 tell you guys to use cotton fabric underwear helps to reduce like excess excretion of bodily fluids it just traps it there so it doesn't get to your clothes and it also supports your shape it also builds support for your body system and it also makes you comfortable and gives you confidence guys because when you rock a proper underwear you're confident you don't want to go out in public you know feeling irritated or uncomfortable it actually lessens your ability to be more productive because you go out in public and you're not sure you know you don't have this confidence in yourself that you look good maybe you know you look good and your clothes look good and maybe you think you smell good but when you go out in public and you have poor hygiene you start to begin you know you ha I have a lot of people that are just giving you that look and man it all resonates trust me guys from your your underwear hygiene to your personal hygiene a lot of people would tell the kind of person you are and if they could hang around you or not Taking proper care of your underwear is, is not to be, it is to be overemphasized actually because you cannot be that boss without a proper underwear hygiene guys. You need to take good care of your underwear. You need to make sure that you have proper underwear management. Okay, so now moving on to the tips that you need to know. Personally, what I like to do is I take out time at least three or four times a month and I steam my underwears. I know it sounds crazy, but hear me out. You're just gonna put your underwear in like a container and make sure you disinfect. Disinfectants are very, very necessary. Make sure that you have disinfected everything concerning your underwear, the water and stuff like that to make sure that it is well disinfected. So I just put my underwear in a disinfected container and I put some warm water and then I let it steam for a bit. Please take note that some underwears are, um, they take out the colors, come out and it could actually stain all the colors. So you have to be sure that you don't have underwears like that, you know, so you could put them in the same container. If you do have that kind, then you could do it separately for each underwear. But I don't really have underwears that come out, so it's okay for me to put them in the container and just seal them off. And yeah, after just five minutes, I take it out and I wash them and very clean. Okay, so the second thing you want to know is you have to put your underwear in a particular space. Make sure you have like a basket. Some people have a basket, drawers or a particular space for just your underwears so that you don't mix it with your clothing because you have to be 100% 
hygienic when it comes to your underwears you know so you want to put it like in a space or like in a compartment just create some place you could put your underwears I personally I have like this bag I just use it it's just a zip bag and I put my underwears there and it's just awesome I have this particular way that I normally fold them up uh, I wanted to show you guys about that but no that is not for this video but there's a particular way you fold them up into an egg and it's just easy you know because it just makes it better so just look for a way of space where you can safely put your underwears and keep them jam free away from jams and stuff like that okay so the third thing you want to know is that there are jams everywhere as we know and when you step out of the bathroom or you're done having your bath it's very necessary for you to be aware of how you put on your underwear you don't want to be haphazard about it because the jams from your legs could get to your underwear and back to where you're trying to get them away from so you want to like put you know your underwear very very reasonably make sure that you're doing it correctly and you're not haphazard about it so that you don't get jams there from the floor and up be very cautious about that guys and also when it is heat period or you know when it's summer um, it, you tend to have a lot of heat so therefore you need to be very cautious about that area if not you will develop some rashes and stuff like that which can get itchy and very uncomfortable so you need to make sure that you cop that and how to cop that is by actually getting away from the underwears like don't wear no underwears when it's night time guys night time okay i'm talking about in the night i know a lot of people don't even wear their underwears in the daytime because i had this quote sometime that was like yeah you don't need to wear underwears it gives you like that breathing space it helps with circulation guys guys Put on your underwear in the daytime it just gives you like that confidence a good underwear is a good life trust me guys totally so if you want to actually save you know that whole vibe then don't put on underwear in the nighttime it's just you and your room nobody's actually looking okay so it's okay for you not to put your underwear when you are about to sleep i actually advise that as well so that you just give some time for your parts to breathe and for blood circulation and whatever it is they spoke about but do that in the nighttime okay so that yeah you just have your underwear on and also guys you need to also make sure that you always always go for cotton on the wear it is it is just the best guys just do the cotton okay um some underwears actually come with like designs it may be lacy but make sure that it has a cotton lining if you don't want to go totally for cotton okay but just make sure that you have cotton underwear because guys trust me it really helps especially when it comes to treating infections and stuff like that it really gives you like an edge in keeping it in check you know whatever it is that might affect you due to germs the cotton underwear is just the best way to go and also guys do not share your underwear do not share your underwear or repeat your underwear this is a very wrong move a lot of people actually sniff their underwears to make sure that it's dirty before they wash it like that is like so wrong you don't have to sniff your underwear to see if it's dirty before you wash it okay once you put on your underwear automatically it is dirty it's dirty okay just wash just wash it. just wash it okay just wash it please and then you could use it again do not repeat your underwear and please do not share underwear guys like i find it like so bad when somebody comes to ask me for like underwear like can i borrow your bra can you borrow my you know i'm just okay but for real though do not share your underwear i don't care if it's your sibling i don't care who that person is just always keep your underwear to yourself and lastly guys make sure that you always change your underwears regularly a lot of people have underwears that they have been using since they were born or maybe not since you were born that's a little off but like People have underwears they've been using for about three years, two years, one year. Come on, guys. If you have the capability, even if you don't have the capability, save up. Make a budget for your underwear so you get to change them at least every six months or eight months. This could actually help you a lot in carbon jams and in also giving you like a higher bar when it comes to 
underwear hygiene. The whole thing is a chain, you know, you have your underwear hygiene to your personal hygiene to your confidence. It just resonates, you know. You don't want to have to go out with your friends and maybe you guys just bump into a shop and you're like, oh, okay, let's try one or two and you can't take off your underwear. Or you take off your underwear and everybody's like, ah, what? You just want to make sure like all of that is checked out. Please, please make sure that you make it a priority to keep your underwear hygiene top notch and you always pay key attention to these things because when you do not, you begin to develop things like foul odor, you know, you, you're not smelling, you know, you put on so like perfume and stuff like that, but you just have this irritating smell that is coming out and you just don't know where guys it's from there okay so make sure that your underwear hygiene is properly taken care of and it could actually also prevent you from falling sick because when you when you don't take proper care of your underwear hygiene you get sick you get infections and these infections can affect your daily life you can experience things like yeast infections urinary tract infections and a whole lot that could actually cost you a lot so taking care of your underwear hygiene is actually saving your finances in a way and it's actually making life better for you because it's giving you more confidence and it's giving you everything that it has to give that's it for today guys i hope this video was helpful and i hope you have learned something today okay i'm just gonna do like a little recap about what i said make sure you have a compartment for your underwear make sure you disinfect Please do not put on your underwears haphazardly. Make sure you change them regularly and please do not share underwears with anybody or repeat. These are the tips that I have outlined. I hope this video was helpful and please, please like and share and make sure you subscribe so that you get more content like this. I always talk about skincare, beauty and lifestyle. If you're into that, please turn on your post notification after you subscribe so you get notified anytime I post a video. I post my videos very frequently and so yeah, my name is Kenzie and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!